good day, this is Sedlo with another quick tutorial for the F-15E and the new OIR Mission 1. This one is about entering coordinates into the F-15E. There's a couple little tricks that you need to know. Um, first of all, gosh, it's awfully bright. Let's put our visor down a bit here. Okay, um, in this mission you'll be given coordinates at various times from the AWACS as a point to go to or possibly from a JTAC in uh, the terms of a nine line for a target you need to attack and you're gonna have to enter those coordinates into the computer. You'll be given those coordinates via the radio so the radio voice message will play there'll be a little box here uh, which shows the subtitles of all the text. It's a good idea to write those down if you can. Um, sometimes you can't. Uh, people in VR trying to write something down it's just not a good thing. So I've given you the option to uh, re-up those coordinates via the radio menu F10 option. Radio menu F10, anytime you're given a coordinate, that will be there, and we'll show you those coordinates again. Okay, uh, let's uh, enter this coordinate to go to. First of all, press the button next to the steer point you're heading to. Okay, this is where you're going to edit steer points. The trick is, you cannot edit a steer point that you're currently heading towards. See, we're heading towards steer point 3. Watch what happens when I try to put a coordinate in flashing zero. Can't do it. So what you're going to need to do is enter it into a new uh, steer point or an existing one that you're not going to. Whenever I'm given a coordinate, I like to enter it into a new one. Um, and I do like to uh, enter it starting in the, uh, the number 10 somewhere. So we've got six steer points here in the game in this mission. Let's start this new one at number 10. So we enter 10 here. You see how everything zeroes out. Now let's uh, enter that coordinate again. Let's call it up. So we're going north 3436.944. Now north, south, east, west is here on your keypad, but you need to use shift to get to those. So shift 2, which will bring the N. 3436944. You don't have to enter the decimal and then you click the button next to the northing and that's in. The easting coordinate is a little bit different. Whenever the value of the east or west coordinate is less than 100 you must add the leading zero to it, okay? Otherwise it won't work. So we'll go shift 6 which brings up the E 0, 0.38 and I lost it again so let's re-up. 0.38 two six one five five and in it goes you can also enter an elevation value here um, if you're given a target point by JTAC in the form of a nine line that will be important so it seems uh, we've got steer point 10 all set up now we go back to the main menu you can see we're actually still heading towards steer point 3 so we'll just go number 10 in the scratch pad click the button next to 3 and there you go Let's start heading that way. Um, we'll put the mode into navigation. We'll get the autopilot on. And we'll start heading that way. Now we set uh, steer point 10 in as a regular steer point. We can change it to a target point. Let's do that. We'll go into the main menu of the UFC. Press the button next to 10 to edit. And we're going to change it. The target point is whatever steer point it is plus a decimal. So we'll go 10 decimal next to there. Boom. Now it's a target point. And now we're on our way. Hope this tutorial helps you. Uh, take care.